welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to show you everything I got for my birthday I'll be a little bit late one of them I'm wearing I absolutely love it but we'll we'll get to that in a minute my 41st birthday was on April 4th and it was very uneventful <laughs> Uh, the night before, I slipped getting into the tub. Yes, my life alert bracelet's on its way. But um, <laughs> I fell getting into the tub. And uh, I was getting back into the tub. And I slipped. And I knocked my shin. And literally had like a freaking baseball-sized knot on my shin. And it still hurts. And today, today is April the 16th. So a lot has gone on since my birthday and I have not been able to film. I was also waiting for my Killstar order to come in, which is what took me so long to film in the first place because I was waiting for it, I was waiting for it. It took forever to ship, which I understand right now that's just the norm. But yeah, so I'm just gonna jump into what I got for my birthday and then the next video that you'll see, which I'll look the same because I'm not wasting makeup on one video. No, no, it's not that kind of world we live in anymore. Um, that hashtag quarantine life. So I'm not wasting makeup. I'm gonna be doing another video. It's called a story time. I'm gonna be doing a story time and I'm gonna kind of catch you up on what's been going on since really St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, anyway, if you guys wanna see what I got for my birthday, then just stay tuned. All right, you guys, first and foremost, I want to show you my hat. I'm not going to take it off because the reason, the whole entire reason, okay, there's two reasons, three reasons. First reason, the hat is a bomb. Okay, it's beautiful. I love it. Second reason was because I bought it because of Jade the Libra. And if you haven't seen her video about her, um, about all the kind of hats and stuff that she likes, because she's always wearing a witchy hat, I'll link her video right there. I have been wanting these hats and wanting these hats and wanting these hats since that video. And even before that, I was like, Ooh, what hat has she got on? Um, this is the one that I wanted. I think this is called the like Luna Eternal or something like that. I don't remember the names of them, but I'll link them below. But the band has crescent moons all around it. And it's just a witchy brim hat. I bought it because my hair is growing out. It's a great time for my hair to be growing out right now because I'm not going in public much. I mean, if I go out in public, it's to pick up my groceries or to go to the post office that's it so yeah I, I really bought these because I was like I really need some hats to cover up this hair while it's doing whatever it wants to do because I have resisted the urge to shave my head you guys I have so resisted the urge to shave my head but anyway that's neither here nor there let's get back to the haul <laughs> so I got this hat um, this one is much smaller than the other one and I really like it I feel like it's proportionate to my head and to my body this is the other hat that I got it is a humongous witch hat like honestly I'll show you the difference so here's the difference in the hats it kind of has this American Horror Story which is coven vibe like with this front part but it is a humongous humongous hat and it just has a black band around it and on the side of the hat there's like a little fold on the band and again I'll have this one linked below as well but I I love it it just doesn't it's just so big like it's huge and Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love it. The, don't get me wrong. I love it. But I feel like I'm going to wear the other one a lot better. In fact, I'm going to go put it back on. Also, Jade wears her hats more like back on her head where you can see her hairline and everything. And I'm really not trying to show my hair at all right now. Like, I'm just not. Like, it's... No. Anyway, I also got this from Killstar. It says, but darling, a witch will never be wrong. And it's a solid black like matte tumbler. And I love it. And it has been like my BFF for the past couple of days and I absolutely love it. The other thing I got, which I'll have to tilt the camera to see, it's on my wall. It is an Aries tapestry right there. I don't know if that's gonna stay. I also forgot to mention, uh, new background. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I finally got my office how I want it. If you missed that video, I'll link that right there. So go check that out, give it some love, and let me know what you think of my new setup. I love having my, my makeup as like books behind me. I also have books behind me. Uh, I have my Harry Potter stuff behind me too. It's just like, it just flows so much better. My Alex drawers are stacked right there. It just, it just flows so much better in here. And I like having my makeup away from my desk and like behind me that way I could just grab what I need, come to my desk, do what I need to do, put everything away. That, that was a bad habit. Having it on my desk, I would just like leave it all on my desk. So anyway, I'm rambling because I haven't freaking filmed in forever it feels, but 
Uh, let's just get into what else I've purchased. I placed a Wicked Sisters Cosmetics order. If you didn't know, I am an affiliate with Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. Use code Wendy Darling right here and you will get 15% off. I ended up getting a couple things. I picked up one of the new body washes that we had. It's actually a three-in-one Wicked Hair Shampoo and Body Wash and it is in the scent Lemon Sugar. I haven't opened this. I haven't smelled this. I have been waiting to make this video. It smells like a lemon sugar cookie. Like it's it's so good. It smells so good. But yeah, I will link this down below if you're interested in it. It's a pretty nice bottle. It's 16 fluid ounces and I'm pretty sure, I don't remember the prices of everything, but like I said, I'll have everything linked below. I also picked up some Fortune Teller soap, which is just a pretty, I've been dying to get into this, but the soap is so pretty and I think it's in the same lemon sugar scent. No. I will have to look up what the scent is. I've been dying to use this soap, but I've been waiting. It looks like it's just all marbled and ugh, it's so pretty. I have it pulled up on my computer. It smells like sweet orange, plumeria, patchouli, amber, and caramelized vanilla. I'm not grabbing all of those notes. It's a very light scent. It's not very heavy at all, but maybe once you, like, you lather up, maybe it'll smell a lot more strong on some of those scents. The next thing I got was the Fortune Teller eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. Unfortunately, this came broken but I was able to save it and what broke in the palette I've got like 50 of them so it's okay I, I I'm quite okay about it so this is what the palette looks like and if you can see in the black one there's like a little chunk missing that's it and it just happened to like all over everything so it kind of you know left its mark on other shadows in the palette but other than that it's perfectly fine absolutely gorgeous if you have see my Wicked Sisters Cosmetics review. I will put that right there in the corner. But basically their shadow formula is bomb. And their palettes are like reasonably priced and everything. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below. I don't know if any of this stuff is still in stock or if it's sold out. I ordered these back like for my birthday and I've, I got them like a little bit after my birthday. And then, you know, I haven't really, I haven't really messed with anything. So I ordered a lipstick. This is in the shade head witch and it is just like it really reminds me of androgyny from jeffree star so if you're looking for an androgyny dupe um this is a little more on the purple side so i'll put that on the back of my hands so you can see what it looks like this is what the applicator looks like and then i'll put that right here really nice and creamy and pretty It's a really pretty like purpley mauve color. I'm horrible with shades, colors, y'all know this, so. <laughs> and then she threw this in for me for my birthday, I think, I don't know. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, I have not got a chance to use this, but I'm about to put it on me right now. It is the Magical Body Shimmer Setting Spray. That's what it looks like. And it reminds me, I'm gonna swirl it. It reminds me of like hypnotic. <laughs> yes, I went straight to alcohol, but like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It says shake well before use, but it's a body shimmer and setting spray. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand just because I'm scared. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that smells really good. You can kind of see it right there on my skin. Ooh, it's got a little bit of color on there, but yeah. Excited to use this and just see what it looks like. I bet it would be really pretty on like tan skin, but I'm super white, so. We'll see. <laughs> That's everything I got from Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. I will be doing a tutorial using this eventually, I'm sure. And I will let you guys know about both of these. The next thing I got was from my friend Rita. It is um, from her company Broomsticks and Dragonfly. And I ordered from her shop this box. It says Sage That Shit. There's their Broomsticks and Dragonfly um, logo on the back. And then on the inside, there was a couple options. You could just get the box, which is pretty deep, and you can put lots of stuff inside of there, uh, which I have been keeping the stuff that came with it inside the box the whole time because I was waiting to film this video. I also picked up a piece of blue kyanite. This is the one she sent me. And then I picked up an Aries Stones for Aries, which is right here. It's got a little bit of something, something in there. And then she also threw in a piece of Red Tiger's Eye, which is so pretty. And then I got a piece of Amethyst. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty. 
And then with the Sage That Shit box, I ended up getting the bundle that came with it, which had an abalone shell. Look at this beautiful shell, you guys. Look at how gorgeous that shell is. I picked the bundle that had sage, a selenite wand, a piece of Palo Santo, and another piece of amethyst. Amethyst, if you don't know, is one of my favorite ones. If you haven't seen my amethyst birthstone series video, I'll link that right there as well. There's gonna be a lot of cards, so go check out all my videos. It's been a while since I've actually sat down and filmed. I've just been editing all the stuff that I've been needing to edit, and yeah, I'm trying to get on top of things because I really... What else have I got to do, you guys, besides eat? And you guys can see my chin. Mm. Anyway, we're not, gonna talk, we're not gonna talk about that today. But anyway, so I'm gonna undo my bundle. I'm gonna put these in their appropriate spots. But that's what I got from Broomsticks and Dragonfly. And she also sent me a sample of a new uh, loose leaf incense that is called Aqua. So I haven't had a chance to burn that yet, but I will. And I'll report back on that as well. So one of the days that I was out, uh, my friend Darlene messaged me and she's like, hey, I have a birthday gift. I'm going to bring it to you. And um, we were, we actually met in public. It was funny. She got out of her car, set the bag down, got back in her car, got out of my car, grabbed the bag. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but she ended up giving me, which was kind of funny. She gave me a giant uh, thing of Clorox wipes. And I have not been able to find Clorox wipes anywhere. Obviously, I mean, that's a thing right now you just can't get a hold of them and so she's like hey I have a couple of them I'll give you one and I'm like sweet I will meet you for that ASAP she said she was gonna put a bow on it and she did and uh, she also gave me a ton of oils for my birthday got the Arbonne rescue and renew pure essential tea tree oil and um, I'm gonna be making a lot of candles and things so um, I needed to get more oils and she's like I have a ton and so it just kind of worked out that ended up she gave me a bunch of them for my birthday so this one is from doTERRA it is vetiver this is lavender this one is called purify it's a cleansing blend from doTERRA this is also from doTERRA it is a restful blend called serenity peppermint lemon on guard this is a protective blend cedarwood and last but not least frankincense so I got some oils I'm excited about that so now I have some really good oils and I'm gonna be starting to make my candles because I have everything I need so that's gonna be coming down the line my other friend sent me a gift card for my birthday and so I spent that at Hot Topic and I ended up picking up this little exorcist keychain like wallet thing that unzips and you can put like you know a little bit of whatever in there the reason I needed a little one like this is because a while back I got the little witchcraft book purse and my wallet fits but that's it like it's like my wallet my phone that's it like nothing else will fit in there and when I used that purse I wanted something small so I got this little VH S tape that says the exorcist on it I thought it was super cute it was on clearance and you know how I roll with clearance so I got that um, I also got two I'll have to insert pictures because they're up here on the top of my desk but I got the Elvira Funko Pop and Annabelle Funko Pops also ordered a pair of vegan leather Mary Janes but unfortunately they don't fit so they're size 10 which is my size I have boots my right foot goes in and it's like no my left foot goes in it's snug but it goes in and it's just like really I mean they're not the best quality I'll tell you that Hot Topic's never really been the greatest quality but I remember having better shoes back then back in the day I don't know that's just my thing and when I say back in the day when I used to work there in like mid 2000s so that's it guys that is everything that I picked up for my birthday this year it was very low-key I was supposed to go to New Orleans on the third um, on the 4th, which was my actual birthday, there was a burlesque show that was 80s prom themed that I was going to. That didn't happen. Um, obviously nothing happened. <laughs> stayed home, stayed in my pajamas. Uh, I actually did have to run to the store. That was my 41st. Like, this is what 41 looks like. It's okay to mourn the loss of things that you didn't get to do. But don't dwell there. Don't stay there. I don't have anything, like groundbreaking to offer during this time other than we will get through this stay home stay safe and stay tuned because I have a story time so I hope that you guys are doing well I hope that you're staying safe hit the like button to tell me happy birthday uh let me a comment down below and uh, also subscribe because what else have you got to do thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next one